Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, y'all. So y'all asked me yesterday on Instagram. Y'all said y'all wanted a whole breakdown of the whole Young Miami versus Hazel E versus Jocelyn situation. Even Stevie J got involved. So last night it was lit on social media. So if you guys don't know, a lot of this bullshit goes all the way back to last month. It goes back to April 30th, okay? So what happened is that Hazel E and this Instagram comedian, her name is Light Skin Keisha, they got into and they were going back and forth and throwing jabs at each other. So before that, back on the 30th, she had dropped the song called wait and so hazel e says people be mad as fuck at the truth at city girls inc it's been my lifestyle period in my city girls voice so then young miami and city girls replied back to her and young miami says you trying to come up off city girls you better go get a job period and then hazel e says please go back to school baby girl you mean luck it's so hard deciphering that bird top. And then what ended up happening last night is that they ended up getting into it because Hazel E dropped a new diss track, basically going at the city girls. Got a problem, now you need a feature. Half a little girls are somewhere sitting in the bleachers. No cameras, no flashes, no applause. She Joanne, the real scammer, all fraud. Careers at a standstill, the light's getting dark. Now you got more time to take your son to the park. So in the song, she's going at Young Miami's son. And she's also claiming that the city girls basically stole her style. So then what ended up happening is that Jocelyn Hernandez, she claims this was, you know, innocent. She went to basically support her friend's song by telling all her fans to go listen to Hazel E's new song. So at that point, Jocelyn Hernandez ended up accidentally or maybe purposely, you know what I'm saying, um, inserting herself into the beef with Young Miami and Hazel E. So at that point, Young Miami went off on social media. This is what Young Miami had to say. She says, I ain't about to play with no mans on coke. Y'all hoes want attention, now y'all got it. I'm my son, I'll be either one of you hoes to death. Just because bitches throw drinks and pull hair across tables on TV, don't do shit to me. I'm from Miami, and I don't see none of that commercial shit. Jocelyn, you want coke, bad. You get high and eat pussy for fun. Who respects you hoes? Hazel, you wish you had signed to QC. Nobody knows you or your music. What checks you sign and you delusional ass bitch you was crying for bird to help your career you clown ass bitch honey when i tell you the way that these chicks be writing honey it's a struggle so i hope y'all understood what the fuck i just said any damn way so at the young miami drug them at that point jocelyn hernandez was like oh hell no you're not gonna mess with the puerto rican princess honey so then Jocelyn Hernandez got onto Instagram and she started wilding out, bitch. Y'all go ahead and check out these videos from Jocelyn Hernandez. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. What up, y'all? Puerto Rican princess in this bitch. Shout out to my bitch, Hazel E. And I didn't know it was a crime to support your homegirls online. And for you trolling ass, nappy headed ass, trolling ass bitches, you know where the fuck to find me. Lot of their hoe. Oh, ain't she cute? motherfucking thing. Bitch, I've been on TV since you have boogers in your nose. Respect the motherfucking throne, ho. Respect the throne before you get your head busted, pussy ass, ho. Now get credits like me, ho. That's what you do. All right, see, I just saw what Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez had to say. Told y'all she wasn't that damn conscious because she made sure to throw in there that, you know what I'm saying, these bitches were nappy-headed. Any damn ways, after that, Young Miami decided to jump onto uh, her Instagram. And so she went off on Jocelyn Hernandez and Hazel E again. Y'all check this out. Hold me up right now, Jocelyn. Hazel, whoever, bitch, I'm in Miami. Pull up. I'm going to show y'all how something. Get credit by me, ho. Fucking she man ass bitch. Y'all hoes think y'all motherfucking bullies. Bitch, meet up, ho. You think you a motherfucking man? Bitch, me and my family go drag drag your ass right back to ATL. Bitch, you in Miami, ho. Play with me if you motherfucking want to. You man ass bitch. All right, so you guys just saw what Young Miami had to say. You know, a lot of people say that Young Miami's family is definitely about that life. Because we all know what they did to Laddie in Miami at the damn food stamp office. Oh, my God. Oh. 
So, you know, all of this mess is just ratchet. But you know what? I'm here for a bitch. So, yes, rumor has it that Young Miami is related to all them people that was beefing a few years back on social media. So, anyways, if that's not bad enough, Southside, who is Young Miami's boyfriend, has now threatened Hazel E. He's also threatened to whoop Jocelyn's ass as well. So, now this is causing a bunch of mess and drama. And now Hazel E is speaking out. And now they're going back and forth today, okay? So, in today's episode of just ratchet ass Instagram, this is what's going down. Y'all go ahead and try out these videos. All right, gang, I'm punching both of y'all hoes out. Jocelyn, I'm going to knock you the fuck out like a nigga. Like you look like, like the man that you is. I promise you, I'm going to knock y'all hoes the fuck out on everything I love. I'm going to beat both of y'all hoes the fuck up on everything when I catch y'all hoes. Hazel, you better be with this shit all the way, bitch. I promise you, you better be with all this shit. Because I fight hoes. Y'all hoes going to do all this motherfucking popping. I promise y'all hoes, I'm going to beat both of y'all hoes up. On power. On live. I'm going to fuck both of y'all hoes up. On power. We not for none of that shit y'all hoes on. Y'all niggas, y'all better kill that shit. On God, both of y'all washed up at hoes. Hey, Josh, and I got a whole motherfucking eight ball for you. Want to snout it? You know what I'm saying? No problems. Swear to God. Fuck y'all hoes. Think this shit is y'all broke ass hoes around here popping that shit. Broke bitches. Y'all broke hoes. Ain't got nothing going on. Josh and Stevie J fucking face. Uh, that shit over with. Leave it alone. Hey, look, yo, old nigga, my little nigga, kill it. I make blood beat you up for ten thousand. Stop playing with me. Southside. On Pyro what, my nigga? Oh, where Hazel Street is in Inglewood, my nigga? On Pyro what? Oh, that's why you was trying to pay Rose Burgundy to come and protect you over there with little 50, right? At the house when you was on FaceTime Southside, right? Or or when you was with the transgender. Hold on, wait. You was caught with the transgender. Oh, that's why you beat bitches. Oh, okay. I ain't with no domestic, no domestic violence shit, nigga. Keep that shit with the bitches you fuck with, my nigga. Because on Pyro, my nigga, you know what time it is. I don't even fuck with motherfucking Rose no more, nigga. But don't you say nothing on motherfucking Pyro on NHP, my nigga. You already know what time it is. Don't play with me, my nigga. We know what was going down. Oh, oh I got the beats, 808 Mafia, blah, blah, blah. With young little 50 and shit. Nigga, on Pyro... You gonna beat me for a bitch that you was over there dissing on the motherfucking internet? Talking about ah, boy, I don't get no fuck about none of that shit they talking about. Boy, none of that, boy. All that play play shit. I don't care about none of that shit they talking about on God, nigga. Nobody talking about, nigga. Nobody, nigga. Nobody talking about. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I ain't know them mother. I ain't know them was motherfucking women. I thought I thought them was two men trying to jump on my bitch. I thought them was two grown ass men. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know them women. I thought them was real men. They look like men's in the face, shit. They tall like men, they look like real boys. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? I thought them were real niggas. We ready to fight them niggas. We thinking them niggas. Big ass tall niggas. <laughs> like, what? Bitch, I ain't trying to hear shit. They talking about nothing. He over here sitting right now, like, no, your PR is you gonna do with the PR. You're talking about women and you're gonna actually beat the women up. And, uh, <laughs> fuck them hoes. On oh God, fuck them hoes. They still fuck them hoes. Fuck them big ass men. On oh God, I ain't switching up. Nothing. Seth, I wasn't even gonna do this live shit today. So I was calming the fuck down. Yeah, Seth, I'm calming the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? But I just once again seen this bitch ass nigga Southside talking shit about me. Oh, now because all the niggas done tapped in. I got blunt on my lip. Mm -hmm. I just got a dance rehearsal. I look a mess. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, after the whole hood's on his head, all street niggas, pyro niggas, everybody at this nigga's throat. I want to do this fake ass apology. I'm sorry. I thought they was men. They tall. They big like niggas. Nigga, how the fuck you know how tall and shit I am? I'm 5'3", motherfucker. And ain't nothing about me a motherfucking nigga except for where I get my motherfucking money, you bitch ass, hoe ass nigga. Threatening to beat up motherfucking women and shit. Now, real niggas want that smoke with you and you want to go into a fake, whack ass, sorry ass apology saying you thought I was a nigga and Jocelyn was a nigga. You was more of a bitch than any bitch I done met, bitch. And I'ma keep popping my shit. Cause like the niggas called you and told you from Houston, LA, you know, the real ones that tapped in, them bosses. Now you, I'm sorry, I know his name is man. Okay, good. Oh, see, JT not to sit down. I don't not to sit down. And I ain't finna argue with you hoes. I say, I say what the fuck I say, and that's just period. 
I know, and first of all, bitch, love and hip hop, you have no big ass securities, but y'all know y'all can't motherfucking fight for real, bitch, y'all know them people in for let y'all fight for real, ho, don't compare no motherfucking love and hip hop fight to no motherfucking real street fighting, bitch, please, bitch, that shit be cast, ho, motherfucking body guys, y'all can't barely touch each other, bitch, all y'all can do is throw, throw drinks, let's be very motherfucking clear, ho, stop playing. Girl, y'all tell me what to write them down so bad. <laughs> Cause hey, too, too ugly, bitch. Y'all tell me what they had a field day with that ugly bitch. At the end of the day, I do feel like it's a bunch of, once again, older women in their 30s. I don't know what the fuck is up with us women in our 30s and, you know, hating on the youth. Like, you supposed to age gracefully and be proud of the generation coming up behind you. You're not supposed to look at these chicks who are in their 20s as competition. You know, it's really sad that you have a lot of older women in their 30s, damn near 40s, okay, beefing with folks in their 20s. And I don't care if it's, you know, Jocelyn Hotep Hernandez, Hazel E versus Young Miami, or Tati westbrook versus james charles you know what i'm saying all these old bitches need to just fall back and relax you know what i'm saying age gracefully support the youth and you know do your thing stop trying to be in competition with with girls 10 15 years younger than you it's not that damn serious if your music is fire you don't have to diss city girls if your music is that tight do you the people who are gonna fuck with you and fuck with your music they're going to support you regardless you don't have to take down somebody or diss somebody else to try and uplift yourself that's how you can tell a female ain't really securing what the fuck she got going on in her personal life because all their insecurities show when they have to sit there and disrespect and disrespect and diss other people when you're happy and you're content with your life you don't have to worry about what the next bitch got going on because you know you handling your business in the grand scheme of things right so this whole beef to me is just childish at the end of the day makes jocelyn and you know hazel just look crazy and hazel just stays beefing with people on social media she starts stuff and then she plays victim and i'm just i'm over it at this point now i do have one thing to say to young miami okay sis I'm going to need your ass to calm down, okay? All that yelling and flexing and trying to fight, you need to remember, okay? The City Girls is two girls. Your other member is sitting her ass, your other member, JT, is sitting her ass in jail somewhere. They won't let her out. If you get into a fight and you get locked up, there will be no more City Girls, okay? This is not a trio, it's a duo. We don't lost one, we don't need to lose another, okay? So, sis, I'm going to need you to sit down, calm down, and keep your ass out of jail so you can keep on making this music, okay? So, anyways, y'all, that's my damn message to Young Miami. So, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Hazel E., Jocelyn Hernandez, beefing with Young Miami, the City Girls. Are you team Hazel E. and Jocelyn? Are you team Young Miami? Or are you team all these girls need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up and just get their damn money, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.